The time has now come. 420 was a disastrous night for the Haney's. They came out, fought Ryan Garcia. He later tested positive for Osterine in the pre-fight build. They said what they were going to do to Ryan Garcia. And they even had a psychology for Dummies book. Now, fast forward to the future. Devin Haney appears to be back in training, back sparring, back working. There's no actual announced fight for his comeback fight, but it is good to see that he is training. Let's take a look at it. So make sure you guys follow me at Boxing Ego One on Instagram. The link's in the description. You guys see it right there. Devin Haney back in training, back sparring. And these pictures were posted. It's him and his dad. And you could see he's gearing up, getting ready. And in the second slide that I have, you see him in action in the red. He's in the black and red sparring with somebody in Vegas at the Split T Boxing Club, I believe. So I don't know who he's sparring, but it is good to see he is back working. Devin Haney had, like I said at the beginning of this video, really it was a disastrous night on 420. Fought Ryan. Ryan acted completely insane in the buildup. And I warned all of you guys that Boxing Ego, the great Ego Stradamus, will strike again. Told you guys this was a bad fight for Devin Haney. I think he was, this is my honest opinion. People can get mad, but I'm telling you my honest opinion. I think ultimately Devin Haney was chasing Gervonta Davis. He thought he was closing the gap and somehow getting closer to him as a star, or he was just ultimately trying to leverage his star power and, you know, become bigger and become a pay-per-view draw but he bit off more than he can chew and he couldn't stay away from the left hook of Ryan Garcia. And boy, did that tank curse continue because that fight with Ryan Garcia, it just was a fight that hurt Devin stock point blank period. So fast forward to the future, he getting in fights at the OC County fair. That was a bit weird. It's good to see that he's back, back fighting an actual boxer and doing boxing training. I don't know exactly what that was about at the OC County Fair and altercation. I mean, it was it was very weird. And I don't think it helped Devin Haney's stock. After the Ryan Garcia fight, his stock already took a major hit. And then I don't think this was a good look. You're fighting a civilian. I mean, how could it be? So I am happy to see that he is back training. And we'll see what's next for his career. As of me recording the video, there has been zero announcements for his actual return. I will say this. I've seen videos and also clips of Devin Haney. And he looks like he's been putting in some work to try to keep his weight down now. Because not that long ago, there were videos of Devin Haney. Like, for example, at the Crawford Madrima fight. When he walked in, he was getting booed, and there's some footage floating around on the internet of Devin Haney from that Crawford Madrima fight, which wasn't that long ago, and he actually looked bigger than this. So I don't know what he's doing. He's putting some road work in, but it's good because it looks like he's starting to get some of that weight off because the pictures and videos that I was seeing, Devin Haney was looking pretty massive and pretty huge. And... He's still, he's not, his walk around weight is definitely still not 140. So I think that still could be a chore, but I'll leave it to the Haney's to announce their next move. There is some speculation that they could move up and fight at the welterweight division. I really believe it's going to be a critical choice and it's going to be very interesting as a spectator to see what is decided next for the Haney's and Devin's career because they were fighting Cambosis, rematch Cambosis. Then they fought Lomachenko, squeaked by, you know, beat him close. And they were undisputed. And then you got a name like Lomachenko. So 
within that three fight top rank deal, it was everything was smooth, minus the fact that you know some people thought Lomachenko potentially won that fight. But all in all, you know, they were steadily inclining and building Devin's brand. Then he follows up, goes back to Eddie Hearn, does the Regis Prograde performance. And he has, I was at that fight. He had a great performance with Regis Prograde, made Regis Prograde look like he had two left feet and completely outboxed him, even showed power and hurt him and dropped him, things like that. Speak of the devil, there's Regis getting blocked. But it was what happened in his very next fight with Ryan Garcia that messed everything up because boxing is fickle like that. All is almost a race. I mean, even it's combat sports in general. You look at Sean O'Malley and he's fighting Cheeto and getting good wins or knockout wins or that crazy knee he had against Cheeto. Everybody's like, oh, this is crazy. And now that Sean O'Malley loses to Marab and loses his belt, people are saying, oh, he's never going to be the same. He's the new Cody Garbrandt, etc." So to be honest, combat sports in general, and I think the UFC fans might be a little bit more forgiving than boxing fans. So this is going to be hard for Devin to live up. And I'm very curious to see how he conducts himself and what's the move. Sparring is sparring. But I, I'm very curious because when Devin does come back after such a grueling fight, he did show heart in the fight. But if you watch my channel for any length of time, I have never been one to really over glorify showing heart because it is stupid to me to be honest when people talk about showing heart in boxing it's usually because you're getting mopped up it's usually because you're getting dusted off because if you were dominating like let's say floyd mayweather then nobody's gonna say floyd showed heart by kicking someone's ass right it doesn't really make sense so the only reason we know a fighter showed heart is usually because they're getting melted, they're getting hurt, they're getting dropped, and then picking themselves up and things like that. So while a lot of people are in awe of showing heart, that has never been my thing. I think it's not taking unnecessary punishment. Like Floyd, he actually has a video with Devin Haney where he says, the least punishment you, you take in this sport, the longer you'll last in the sport of boxing. That's what I believe in. The sweet science, the art of hit and don't get hit. Devin couldn't get out the way of the Ryan Garcia left hook for whatever reason. And it gave him nightmares all night. You know, the dream had a nightmare. So moving forward after that type of performance, I think matchmaking, who he fights next, the terms of the fight, you know, what weight category is it? Is it 40? Is that a catch weight? Is it 47? Because keep in mind, Devin Haney said at a point in time that he's fighting at whatever way he wants after the ordeal with Ryan Garcia. Now, he could have said this out of anger and in the moment, and then, you know, upon further review, maybe changes his mind. But he did say that on social media when, you know, right around the time where the Ryan fight was being overturned. So I have no idea, but I think I will be paying attention. Put it that way. I will be paying attention because I think these next moves are going to be crucial. It's going to be very crucial to see what is decided for his career because he's kind of in a do or die position where you want to make the right move and make sure that you rebuild your fighter. And I know that sounds crazy because he's undefeated. That's based on the technicality. The world's not looking at him as undefeated. So yeah, his record shows he's undefeated, but you still took those punches. You can't, you can reverse the record, but you can't reverse the damage. You can't reverse the punches and the mental anguish and the trauma. So I'm really curious to see what is decided, all the specifics, how they even approach this, because I think it's going to be that's going to determine, you know, his future for real, for real. So I'll leave it at that. It's good to see that he's back. He's trying to keep his weight down because he does look smaller and he's back training. And it, the whole thing, I, I really feel is going to be 
everything's going to be interesting, if that makes sense. Because Bill Haney, his approach was to be the loud speaker, the megaphone for his son. And he did it in the Ryan Garcia fight. But after the slaughter of Ryan Garcia, that was the Ryan Garcia fight. I'm curious to see, are you is Bill Haney still going to make videos and, you know, get in Regis Progre, his coach's face or strength and conditioning guy's face? Is that... Is that still going to be the approach? Because they are technically undefeated, but the world doesn't necessarily see it like that. So I'm very curious to see how it all plays out or if they have to start from the basics. And even will Bill Haney be the head trainer for Devin Haney? I mean, it's just a lot of questions and I could go on and on and on. But these are the questions that come to mind because that Ryan Garcia fight did not play out in your favor and it didn't do any favors, which is what I said from the beginning. Ryan was acting a whole fool and he continued to do so and he continues to do so now. So we'll see. But for now, Devin, he's back in training and we'll see what's next, what his weight class will be and how he looks, how he responds to a punch, all those types of things. For more boxing, all your boxing news, Subscribe. It goes a long way when you guys subscribe to the channel so I can produce more and more content of this high quality. Listen, on YouTube, on TikTok, Snapchat, there's a lot of independent boxing content that's flooding the street, but a lot of it is low quality. Either the knowledge is lacking, the audio quality is bad, the visuals and video quality is bad, the presentation is bad, and sometimes it's all of it. The whole thing, the whole package is garbage. So come to Box of Ego, Death Row East, believe in that, and subscribe to the channel because I truly am the best in the business, <laughs> and it's not even close. Church.